Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm not dying of the flu anymore, and that's pretty dang cool. We're gonna talk about a naked man and tasers and shootings today. Tasers, then shooting, then tasers, then shooting. But first order of business, I bought a mother f***ing police car. That's right, the best police car of all time. The Ford Crown Vic Police Interceptor. Look at this bad b damn boy. And I'll tell you what, those things are fun to drive and I can drive the hell out of one. What do you say we LS swap it? <laughs> Like I said, those things are a lot of fun to drive, unlike my brand new TRX that has 8,000 miles on it and the engine decided to explode. Dodge, you'll be hearing from my attorney. <laughs> Speaking of losing a bunch of money from something dumb, did you know that you could save a bunch of money from doing something smart for your small business like using ShipStation? So what the heck is ShipStation? It's something I use personally for one of my small businesses. I'm busy as hell with several YouTube channels, a family, all sorts of stuff going on. If you have a small business where you need to ship things, ShipStation is the way to go. Not only do you get insane discounts with UPS and USPS and many other shipping options. It just makes your workflow when you have to do things like that so much easier. You can get discounts up to 89% off with UPS and USPS. It easily integrates with Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, Amazon, and many more other platforms. You can automate shipping tasks and manage orders in one easy dashboard. This is my ShipStation dashboard. Look, I connected my eBay store to it. It ships from my PO box here in San Antonio, and it has all my carriers listed here. And look, you can just head on over to your simple little dashboard here see your orders shipments products customers everything over 130,000 e-commerce businesses have grown their business with shipstation it's a free trial and a quick setup to help your e-commerce business just go to shipstation.com slash donut operator and get a 30-day free trial head on over there or click that link in the comments and description below all right folks we're going to talk about naked dudes getting tased and shot here in just a second but first i wanted to share a twitter post a twitter post that a lot of you jumped in on that proves we should all go to group therapy my good friend jack mandeville go follow him made a tweet and he said it's not illegal to scream Allahu Akbar in the middle of a flight and then just continue on reading your People magazine. To which I responded, it's not illegal to buy guinea pigs from PetSmart and grill them in the parking lot. So I retweeted that and said, what else is highly frowned upon but not illegal? And you guys weighed in on it. Let's see what you said. <laughs> Lane says, not returning your grocery cart. It should be criminal. I agree. Public hangings are appropriate for that. Royce Lopez says, Amy Schumer. Can't disagree with that one. Eating sushi from a gas station. And that's definitely a Jared Taylor move right there. Pineapple on pizza. Pizza, ah. you, I love pineapple on pizza. Hot dog water, delicious and nutritious. Wasn't that a the Limp Biscuit album, right? Yeah! Uh, chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavor water, I think. That's a thing, right? Chocolate starfish! Using food stamps to buy bottled water, dump it out, and turning it into the recycling center. Yeah, that's an actual thing. I saw a lot of food stamp thingies like that in my time as a police officer. Hunting rabbits with a 50 cal incendiary. Making out with your stepmom. Corey Chase would like to have a chat. Please, Step Heather, I can't get myself unstuck. Oh my God, I'm coming! Rescuing a Spanish fighting bull and letting it go on the street during a protest. Any protest would do, really, I'm not fussy. <laughs> Can you imagine like getting a Spanish fighting bull? You pull up to one of those climate things where they shut down the interstate or, or, or I'm not gonna say the words, you know, those, those people in other places of the world that are fighting right now and you just release a bull out of the back of your truck. You're blocking traffic. You kind of deserve it if you do that. Masturbating on an airplane, I'm pretty sure that's highly f***ing illegal, Mr. E. Yeah, maybe after 9-11 where everybody gets so sensitive. Thanks a lot, Bin Laden. Shitting in a urinal. Using both hands to put on chapstick. We're going to end it on that note and continue on to our police shooting. <laughs> All right, I know you guys have been wanting wieners and shooting, so let's get on with it. As you put on chapstick with both hands. February 4th, 2023, Fort Lee, New Jersey. A guy calls 911 and says, yo, I got a little situation. There's a person that I know in my house. He has a knife. He's threatening all my family members. Uh, come help out a little bit. No, it's, uh, actually, I have a situation. Okay. He's like very aggressive with knives and all that. He has a mental issue. What's think. going on? What's going on right now? Is he there right now? He's right now. He's right. He has a knife 
and he tried to cut everything he has. This isn't good. We have a mentally ill man with a knife cutting his own clothes off and swinging it around at other people. And the caller leaves his family with crazy knife guy to step into the garage and call police. Anyways, basically what we have here is a barricaded suspect with hostages. The police roll up pretty hot and pretty deep. Most of the family members are able to get out of the condo, but we're going to need some pretty high speed, low drag police crime scene recreation software because there's a lot going on during this at the same time. So the guy who calls 911 finally gets most of his family members out of the condo, but leaves one. It's like a three story condo like this. One story, very accurate. Two story, three story, some stairs right here. Balcony. These condos are all stacked on top of each other. So there are balconies beside the condos that we're talking about that the dude's in naked with a knife destroying things. The balconies on top of each other have like an eight foot tall divider. Our suspect was on the balcony with a knife in each hand. There unfortunately was still one family member on the third floor. Police in a smart move to flank the suspect. Let's just pretend this is the adjacent balcony. There were three cops over here on the balcony. There were a couple cops on the stairs inside the home with a shield in front of them. And then there was a cop in a, hold on, this is really hard to do, but I am an artist. There was a cop in a little bucket truck right above everyone, just watching. Like I said, there's a lot of dynamics going on, but fortunately we have the software to help us out. So the officers on the stairs are trying to go up when the suspect who was on the balcony moved aggressively towards the officers who were on the adjacent balcony. So one of the balcony officers tased the suspect and two of them shot the suspect. He temporarily goes down. Can't hear what he's saying, buddy. You need a knife? Guys, you okay? Hi, Guys, are you okay? Uh, uh, what? My, man, come back, come back. Who's fired? Oh, 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 oh. What we just saw were the cops inside of the house with the shield. Let's take a look at the footage from one of the cops who was on the balcony who apparently was using a f***ing <laughs> Game Boy camera from 1998 to capture this. <laughs> By all means, the suspect looks like he's down. He got tased twice and then shot a couple times by two other cops. But wait, there's more. Cops on the inside with the shield hear shots fired and rush up to the balcony where they find dude on the ground. Well, okay, problem solved, problem stays solved, rangers lead the way. But he wasn't down for the count. He jumps up with the knife still in his hand and rushes towards the officers who had just come up the stairs. Thank God no crossfire happened, but every cop there shot him. <laughs> Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop it! Drop it! Are we alright? He's down, he's down. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him! God damn, let's go ahead and take a look at the body camera from the officer who was in the bucket truck. He's still armed with a knife, he's still armed with a knife. In the end, the officers were okay, and the suspect, having been shot by like six different cops, uh, didn't make it. That was just one of those super difficult situations where cops were on scene for quite a while. They called in crisis negotiators to try and talk the guy down, but in the end, it looked like the guy was having a manic episode and just wanted to go out his way. Definitely just mental illness and or a suicide by cop situation. If you think the officers in this situation could have handled this incident any different, please go ahead and leave a comment. Have some civil discourse down there, right down there. If you want to help support the channel, go on over and watch the unsubscribe podcast or just go to donutoperator.com buy some of my merch follow me on all the other social media platforms and until next time please have a fantastic day Quack.